Okay, uh, let me log on to Strava now for a second. Talk you through a few weeks actually because I don't think I actually I haven't uploaded in ages. Um, so the last time um, it was actually uh, I think three weeks ago. So I had a I had a trim ten mile race. Um, which went actually really good, but I have no footage of that apart from my breakfast. Okay, so I used that week as kind of like a down week. Um, so I'll bring you back uh, onto my Strava from Monday. So on Monday I did uh, 7 times 10 seconds power hills, which is basically you go really hard up a hill, up a steep hill as well and then like a really slow jog or walk preferably downhill so that ended up being 4.44 miles uh, and then in the morning what I did was uh, I just warmed up with uh, Soiv and Isabel uh, their pentathletes um, for an indoor session so it was 1k 6 times 400 6 times 200 and a 1k uh, so the 1k was in 347 which was roughly that's a, uh, maybe a tiny bit faster than marathon pace, hopefully. Uh, six times 400 in like 78, 79 with 60 second rest. This is all in an indoor track. Uh, and then six times 237, 38, 45 seconds rest. Uh, and then after that, I had a 90 second rest and then a 1K, uh, which I think was about 343-ish. So then getting down to that 10 mile pace. Um, so 1k, 6400, 6200 is 1k. Uh, then that evening, um, usually I coach up in Navin AC, but because uh, I had a race, I actually didn't do anything. I just kind of walked around. Wednesday, then four miles, let's say 6k at 7:43, nice and easy, just chilling, doing like not really. I actually didn't want to do it because on a down week you end up going, oh, I'm not going to do anything. And then you put it off so much and then all of a sudden then it's late in the day and you kind of have to go out. Um, okay, so Thursday I took off because I got treatment. Uh, then Friday what I did was I warmed up for two and a half miles um, and then I did two by one mile. And this is kind of weird. So I wanted to feel what it would be like doing about 10 mile pace. I didn't know what pace I was going to be doing. So what I did was uh, a 556, which was slightly uphill. Um, and I think that actually was my first mile in the race. Uh, but I felt crap. Uh, and then it was slightly downhill around 547. And like I said, this basically tells me nothing about what pace to go out at. So warmed up a breeder for the race. Oh, Saturday I had a wedding and I didn't get home, Like I was shooting the wedding. I didn't get home until like 12 o'clock. The night beforehand, I think, or half eleven, something like that. Uh, so we warmed up for like nearly two k. Got changed, then another one k. Uh, did some strides and then went into it. So actually titled. Uh, I always feel bad by cursing on Strava or something. So anyway, I titled this "Fuck Yeah." So anyway, first mile five fifty two, second mile five fifty one. Uh, third mile, 553, 549, 555, 542, 556, 553, 557, 544. Uh, if you don't know trim, trim is uh, ha like kind of flat to downhill, and then it goes uphill from 4.5 miles onwards. Uh, and then it says it goes downhill at the finish, but it definitely doesn't. It's an uphill into an industrial estate. It's the worst finish of a race ever. So I averaged 5.49, which, looking back on the Friday, the 5.47, it's, it's roughly, I kind of knew where I'd be roughly, but I couldn't tell you if it was going to be like faster than 5.45 or not. Uh, so I ended up doing um, 58.25 uh I didn't think I'd be running under 59, to be honest with you, and it's the fastest that I've gone in years. Okay, so the following day I did... My knee was killing me, actually. I fell uh, on going up the altar, and I'm not going to show you that, but I creamed my knee out of it, and it's actually still kind of sore. Uh, so did four and a bit miles at A44 pace. This is the next day after the race. Uh, I was just jogging, I was connecting with the birds pace. The next day I did close to 6 miles, that was Tuesday, but still again really easy. 
that evening then I did another four four and a half miles so that was that was just over an uh, that was close to an 11 mile day uh, so then Wednesday I did uh, five miles eight 11 pace which is probably like 515 or 510 something like that uh, and then on the Thursday now I had to do it on the Thursday because I was too busy on the Friday to be uh, doing a long run so I did 22 miles at 656 average and my heart rate uh, my heart rate was pretty low to be honest with you I was really happy with that um, that was the 720 second mile nicely yeah, look, I was doing it solo. Probably didn't take as much gels as I wanted. Gel number one. Um, but I'm really happy with it because my calves were still in bits when I was actually running. For the first uh, five miles, I was going uphill. Well, kind of up until now. So, uh, times were a little off. But, uh, like, I'm doing 6.40. 6.45 now and um, my heart rate is uh, it's actually the same as what it was when I was doing like 7.20 but it was uphill my calves are a little tight but I feel alright like aerobically I feel fine I just have to switch off and expect I'm gonna feel I <laughs> expect I'm gonna feel really sore tomorrow <laughs> Gel number two. Gel number three. Feeling good so far. I'm actually surprised at how good I feel, given I'd a race like a few days ago. I'm in shape. <laughs> My battery ran out, sorry. But here you go. Um, yeah, so I'm actually really happy with that. Uh, 22 miles solo at, I think it's just over three hour pace, and my heart rate was pretty low. That leads us to yesterday. So yesterday I warmed up for two miles, did a bit of a stride, and then uh, what I did was, it, was, it ended up being seven and a half miles uh, at 608 average. Um, but anyway, here's the here's the run and what I think about it. Here's a little hack that a lot of people don't know about an Alpha Flight Hill. It actually adds absolutely nothing to it. But can you see the way I have these laced in comparison to these? So I do these with every single pair of runners that I get because uh, I can't hack uh, the way they come laced. So they always come laced like this, but I change them to this. The first hole here, it goes under, under under the loop where I have to put it over 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 yep that's my life okay anyway on the cards today it kind of looks like a really old phone or something doesn't it uh, anyway on the cards today two mile warm-up then I'm going into 12 or 13 K whatever eight miles is uh, alternating, I'm changing the case today, so alternating for um, 2k at marathon pace, 1k half marathon pace and keep on doing that for 12k and I look rough. So yeah, my long run was Thursday and I had a wedding so I worked for like 14 hours or 15 hours or something like that. Sorry, I was shooting a wedding, not at a wedding. And then... Uh, I just kind of woke up I, during the middle of the day. I kind of felt a bit bad, like I kind of just got a bit nasally. Um, but I, I didn't feel tired or anything like that. But my eyes are really irritating. You can kind of still see them. Uh, haven't ran since Thursday, and it's Monday today. Um, but I'm going back to reg regular schedule because uh, I feel I actually feel all right. I feel like I can do a session. Um, but obviously I'm going to keep an eye on my heart rate, and um. A few other markers and if I feel crap I'll pull the plug if I feel good I'll continue uh, there's no point complicating it one session won't make you amazing and it won't make you bad either you have to keep that in mind
So yeah, I am sipping on precision fuel and hydration uh, carb drink. It's like 60 grams of carbs uh, with like a thousand milligrams of sodium. Um, and I'll show you the uh, package that arrived from precision fuel and hydration. Uh, and I can't wait to get those chews into me as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually have a chew before my run, and then uh, I'll take a gel on the run. Um, okay. Uh, see you out in the warm up. Oh. Here we are, Turkish Delight type things. That's been an easier way to open these. Oh, a little glue here. <laughs> oh, fancy packaging, look at this. It's actually smaller than what I thought, so let's two of them there. Alright, taste test. Original. They're actually exactly like a Turkish Delight in texture. And then in flavour, um, they're, they're like, there's no real flavour of them. Like, obviously it tastes like a sweet, but like there's no actual like lemon or rose water flavour. They're good though. Can you see how... Oh god, I'm making a mess. <laughs> they're pretty good. I approve. So that's 30 grams of carbs. Plus uh, the whatever I had of the drink, and then I'm gonna bring this with me as well. So this is only like half full. Um, so this has the this has the uh, liquid, the carb drink, carb mix from um, Precision Fuel and Hydration. Anyway, I'll see you out in the run. Jeez, it's actually quite cold out. It didn't look cold, but. It is cold, I'm gonna to have to have to move on and get some gloves on. I've had to change my uh, <laughs> my distance and measurements into kilometers because um it's a kilometre session. I feel with me, got my gloves, and I'll see us out in the course. Bone K, 3.55, or 6.20 a mile. Not feeling too comfortable. Coming up to 2K, 3.55, or 3.16, or 5.6.16. 337 per K or uh, 549 I think 3K done 356 or 620 and that was uphill <laughs> some recovery <laughs> 350 or 616 1K hard now Whoa, that was uphill 339 Fuck. 3.52 and 6.17. AK. 3.53 or 3.6.15. Now, up for a K. Woo! Whoa. 3.33. And I think that was like uh, 4.40. Five ish. Oh, camera's gone mad. That's nine k. Nine k done. <sighs> Two fifty three or six fifteen. Six twenty or two fifty six. Last pickup on the way. Woo! Oh my goodness. Oh, that was hard. So it was 12k. Oh god. <laughs> 12k, 45 minutes. Uh, my last k was a good bit uphill, and I had to run through a roundabout as well. Oh god. Anyway, it was like 3:37 last kilometer. Oh, that was harder. 
than what I expected but it was good times were times are bang on uh, than what I wanted so I'm pretty happy with that um, heart rate was a little high but I suppose that's expected uh, with just getting over whatever I had a bit of blocked nose I don't even know if you can understand me right now I'm all like duh, 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 duh. <coughs> I think the second last set so the 2k 1k is one set that set felt really comfortable and I think that was like the flattest part and I think what was the 333 but the last set especially the last kilometer but like I said it was uphill so I'm pretty happy with that I can't complain to be honest with you I'll see us back in the house <laughs> I've a bit of a warm down to do now all right oh great it went from like <laughs> uh, 555 down to 603 but good thing I don't pay attention to this and you shouldn't either it doesn't mean anything not with how it's tested it's a I suppose a very rough gauge but I wouldn't pay attention to it so uh, my watch it was 12k and then it was 608 a mile which is 348 per k uh, so that's not too bad actually well what did I go through 10k in actually um, 10k would have been 3806 and it was like a lumpy route as well I'm happy if that's the longest and furthest I've gone this block I think apart from a race but yeah longest and furthest longest and fastest <laughs> okay see you at home now that you can understand me and I'm a bit more uh, a bit more with it I'm actually really happy with that run uh, I didn't think I didn't know what to expect from it I wanted to hit those paces heart rate was a little bit high but like I said I kind of I had a bit of a nasally blocked nose whatever uh, so that's probably why my heart rate was a little elevated yeah I'm actually really happy with it tried out the new Alpha Fly 2s uh, what I think about the Alpha Fly 2s uh, they're more stable than the ones I'll give it that harder to get on you don't think that they're gonna fit you more breathable I think see yeah, there's a bit of bias here I think if I felt better I would have been ranting and raving about these but I can't choose between the one or the twos I needed to get a new pair for Paris so I got these the twos and I'll wear them because they're fresher than my ones my ones are these are my ones here um, so they're a bit uh, I've used them a good few times um, but yeah they're oh, they're a bit uh, they're a bit worn and you kind of need to look a bit fresh for a race, don't you? Uh, I'm happy with the twos, I can't complain to be honest with you. And then what's what's happening for the rest of the week is tomorrow I'm going to do probably 8 miles. Uh, Thursday probably 5 miles. S Friday then I am going to go to uh, 24 miles. Um, I'm going to get ready to go on my second run now. Yeah, I think that wraps up the last 3 weeks or 2 weeks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, and I'll put one out next Tuesday, next Monday, I think. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for top four running. If you want a discount, use Evrons5. Uh, and you get a bit of a discount. And then I benefit from it as well. <laughs> Topfourrunning.ie or .com, whichever one suits you. They're already one of the cheapest places that you can find. And they're the fastest growing online store across Europe. Um so jump on board uh, and I know the Vaporfly trees are coming out so you can use your discount there and shout out to Precision Fuel and Hydration for hooking me up with all those uh, goodies and gels and drinks bottles because I'll be using those uh, in the Paris um, Marathon I'll see you next week, goodbye